Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Stardew Valley 1.6 playthrough series. It is great to be here and I hope you're doing well folks. We are back on the farm. It is Friday the 5th of summer and there is something strange amiss. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look. There's this strange green hue and when you check the weather report, you got nothing but just radio silence. Fortune teller, nothing but radio silence. Our dog is inside. So let's give her a little bit of a pet here and let's check out what's going on. And my goodness here, folks, it looks like we have some green rain. So obviously the day before when we checked the weather, it said there's something strange going on. There's some kind of interference, right? Well, I wonder if this has something to do with it. This is the first time I've experienced this event, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So let's explore for sure. But first, let's get the few farmly duties taken care of. Let's check the mail. Let's get a few things sold. Get a few things put away and get equipped to sort of explore what this actually is. So let's go. First off, let's check the mail here. Pieces of hay. Nope. <laughs> let's check the mail. Saw the weather report last night. Not sure what will happen, but if anyone wants to take shelter in the saloon, I'll keep it open all day. Okay, so we're going to have the townsfolk in the saloon. So maybe we can stop by there. I mean, I don't see like my health going down or anything. I don't know if this is some kind of like acid rain or what exactly is going on, but it appears as if some of the trees are different. Interesting. Yeah, so the trees are definitely different. It looks like there's moss covering some of these trees here. This is all about exploration for me. First time I've encountered this. But it must be one of the new weather events that was referenced in the release notes of the 1.6 update. I mean, obviously, that's what it is. Because this did not exist in any previous version of Stardew Valley. So let's grab our mayonnaise. Looks like Robin is uh, undeterred by this. She is just cranking away on our barn there. That's very nice. You gotta love the dedication, right? Let's pet our chicken friends. Probably best to stay inside today. You might mutate into a green chicken. Well, thanks, Robin. Appreciate your dedication to your craft. Absolutely. All right, so let's get a few things sold here. Let's grab our scythe. Our wheat is ready to harvest. And then, like I said, I, I want to just check some stuff out. I want to see what's going on. Let's check our lands. Maybe we can cut down some of these fancy trees and just kind of see what's going on with them. All right, let's get our mayonnaise selling here. Probably keep our field snacks on us for energy. Either that or why don't we go ahead and just keep the mushrooms on us here. Grab the scythe. Common mushroom. Alright. So scythe is how you harvest the wheat here. And we have our 10 pieces of wheat. Although I might want to look at that because I don't know if it's... If you need 10 pieces of the same quality. You know what I mean? So we might want to just grow another round of wheat here. But we are getting moss on trees. Here's a strange looking tree here. Let's just cut it down and see what happens. Alright, so just wood and sap, okay? We have a mossy seed. What's this? This can be planted to grow rare wild trees. I like the sounds of that. Maybe we can find a few more of those obviously something special with this weather here got some regular seeds here here's another fancy tree it's also Friday so we can check the traveling cart if it's open we'll just kind of have to find out here navigating this together of course so let's grab all of these seeds that we see spend some time chopping down some stumps as well get some hardwood you bet And moss, I know moss is used to make deluxe bait, so that is one use for it. Seems like the moss is very common here, so let's 
probably a good idea for us to try to accumulate some moss. Otherwise, it's a little less common, at least as far as I've seen. So let's just kind of scan our farm here and see if we can find some more moss. Maybe some more of those uh, mossy seeds. I mean, the trees are just covered with it. So might as well take this opportunity to cash in on some moss. And let's cut down these strange looking trees too. Could always use the wood. I mean, we did just drop, you know, 350 wood on a new barn here. There's another mossy seed there. So it looks like you can find mossy seeds just in moss as well. Very interesting. I wonder if there's different fish you can catch during this uh, event here. Maybe, maybe not. There is a fish that we need to catch during the rain in the ocean. So we'll probably end up there, I would think. But like I said, we're just kind of scanning our grounds here. Making sure everything is okay, right? Getting some wood in the process. More moss. Absolutely. Let's see if we can just stock up on a bunch of moss here. I mean, my, ri my original plan was to maybe go to... Looks like we have some giant bushes here. We're getting mixed flower seeds. Okay. My original plan was to maybe go to the mine and try to complete that out, but... Sometimes you gotta pivot your plans, right? Okay, so we got some more of these bizarre looking trees down here. I wonder if these trees are ultimately what grow from that mossy seed. It's a good question. All right, let's go down to the forest where there's sure to be more bushes and trees with moss. How are we looking on inventory space? Getting pretty full. Let's also check the traveling cart while we're here. Big bushes are dropping moss, it looks like. So let's target the big bushes for sure. Oh yeah, getting all kinds of moss there. Alright, let's see if the traveling cart is open for business. It may or may not be. I'm not sure. We're going to find out real soon. Here's a bunch of moss-covered trees, though. Alright, looking good, looking good. Getting all kinds of moss here. Plus, you know, topping up on the plant fiber. Looks like we got a foraging upgrade there. Very nice. So when you go to collect moss, you must get foraging experience, I would guess. And look at this gnarly looking tree here. All right, traveling cart is open. So what do we have? We have coconuts, cranberry candy, slime, iron ore, bullhead. No red cabbage, huh? Single rare seed. Let's buy that. Start a little stockpile of the rare seeds. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff here. Let's cut down this beanstalk looking tree here. Very gnarly looking tree. And no wood, but we get a fiddlehead fern. Okay. Interesting stuff. Definitely a strange event here, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I gotta get to the ocean here quick. We have a fish to catch. And then we can... Maybe pop into the saloon and chat with the townsfolk. And then probably collect some more moss. I mean, it just seems like a good thing to do. Looks like we have a spice berry up here. Grab that. 
Marnie's cows are left out in the acid rain or the the green rain, if you will. Interesting choice. And it looks like the the overgrowth is creeping into town even. Interesting. All right, let's drink this Joja Cola. Get to our destination just a little bit faster. Got a beanstalk looking tree here in town. Very interesting. So I wonder if these trees are permanent or what exactly. You know what I mean? All right, let's fish it out here. Let's see if we can just get them. There it is. A red snapper. Very nice. It's exactly what we were looking for. All right, let's pop into the saloon and see what the townsfolk have to say about this. And then I've got to offload some stuff and we can probably spend the rest of the day fishing, most likely. Let's cut down this beanstalk. Reminiscent of Mario Brothers, right? Gives you fiddlehead ferns, so it's a, it's a giant fern tree, I guess. All right, the saloon, let's, let's pop in here. The people are taking cover. Just got off the phone with the governor. Apparently this rain is supposed to be completely harmless. Just an unusual phenomenon in nature. So some of the town, townsfolk are panicking. Yep. It's scary stuff. Let's not get in a tizzy now, Gus. I propose a round of drinks to settle the nerves. Well. Seems to be a good opportunity maybe to gift things to people as well. Right? I mean, if everybody's in one location, it's not common that that's the case. We have Haley here, who we've been trying to court, but hard to say what in my inventory she would like. Maybe the spice berry. Mixed flower seeds, maybe. All right, so the townsfolk just seem to be commenting on the weather. Nothing really too crazy. So, I think I'm good. Wish I had my stack of daffodils, right? Might as well cut down some trees while we're at it here. Then I can go drop off some stuff and... Maybe we just fish. I mean, I think it's a little too late to go to the mine. Let's plant these these mossy seeds here, though, for sure. Looks like the bus stop has been overgrown. That's good for us. We'll take it. Take all the moss we can get. I wonder if it does anything to your crops, the, the green rain. I don't know that it does, but it could, I suppose. Like, maybe you get, like, mutated crops the next day or something. It doesn't seem to be a radioactive event. It's more like a, it's raining moss or something. There's another mossy seed. Very nice. Well, we got a bunch of moss. So if there's one benefit to the green rain, it's just stock up on moss, I suppose. Cut down some more trees, get some sap, get some wood. All kinds of wood there. All right, looking good. Wait a minute, there was a big bush right here. Kind of a cool effect. I like how nature just kind of goes crazy and just starts growing. Alright, red snapper, that's going in the community chest here. Uh, rare seed, throw that. Put that right here. A fiddlehead fern. 
We have five mossy seeds, okay? Spice Berry can go... Fiddlehead Fern can go here. Let's get these mossy seeds planted. Pound down a few mushrooms when you're feeling under the weather. Cut down some more trees. I think I kind of needed to uh, just clean up the farm a little bit anyways. Good opportunity to do that. But we lost a lot of wood there. Get out of here, bat. Alright, we'll see what those do. We'll see what they grow into. My guess is they grow into... The species of tree that we've been seeing. So it leads me to my next question. What happens if you throw a tapper on them, right? Do you get moss? Probably. Do you get the fiddlehead fern? Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, we're looking at midnight here. Suppose we can just spend the rest of our energy bar here. Just chopping down some trees. Looks like we have a little bridge here. I didn't even see this. Let's eat some more mushrooms and let's deforest this so we have access to this little expanded location here. Get out of here, bat. This is a nice little spot here, right? I'd say so. Should probably clean it up a little bit more. Can do that. Maybe put a little expansion. I can see a few fish ponds over here, maybe. Let's check the mushroom cave here quick before bed. We can get down there, that is. More moss. More moss. And more moss. Alright, and we have a chanterelle mushroom. That, that's a very good mushroom, actually. Alright, so let's get some order in our inventory here. Let's put some tools away. Can we sell some mayonnaise? You bet. Let's offload the things that we can offload. And let's head to bed. Alright, so the strange green rain event think we learned a little bit more about that. I still have some questions, of course, but it's a cool event. To get level 6 in foraging, so the lightning rod becomes available. Very nice. Wild seeds fall and warp totem to the beach. Made 1600 with mayonnaise. Very nice. Alright, day 6 dawns here, and I'm curious to see if there's any kind of leftover effects. From the green ring.
Well, let's see. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow, fortune teller. Spirits are very displeased. Looks like it's raining again today. So let's pet the Luna machine and let's go out and see what's going on here. Hello friend, Mountain Lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share some of my good fortune with you. Largemouth bass. Thank you, Linus. Appreciate it. We'll just sell it. Alright, so what are we going to do today? I think Pierre's in... Let's get some more wheat seeds. Our blueberries are starting to look mighty here. Got some room for the wheat seeds. Looks like we have a pepper down there as well. And then I think I want to grab my fiberglass rod. Let's grab the bone sword, the pickaxe. Don't need the watering can. I mean, the spirits are very displeased. It doesn't always translate well to success in the mine. If you know what I mean? So let's see, what do we want to grab for some energy restoration here? 10 field snacks, sounds good. I like that. In fact, let's see, what does it take to make a lightning rod? Iron bar, refined quartz, and bat wing. Okay, so we don't have iron, I believe. A scythe. There's some wheat, so we need just a few more units of wheat, either of silver quality or of normal quality. And it looks like the barn's done as well, so we could could go to Marnie's and get a few animals. I think that's probably what we should do. And look at our nice new barn here, folks. How about this? Oh yeah, nice and spacious. Looks good. Alright, let's hit up Marnie. Let's get some animals. Can probably fish. Need some more wheat. So why don't we go into town? I'm gonna grab my hoe actually. Drop off the scythe. Are we going to the mine? Do we have iron? That's the question. We have zero iron. I could go to the mine quickly, try to get some iron, get a few iron bars, make a few of these lightning rods. We do have a thunderstorm, right? So if we can get them down, we should have a battery pack by tomorrow, I think. That might be a play. Otherwise, we can transmute three copper bars. Yep, we're going to do that. But we obviously do need some more iron as well. But let's go ahead and craft a lightning rod. And let's throw it... Right here. Alright, I think I have a plan. So, let's go. Let's go to town. In fact, it appears as if... <laughs> The green rain event, you know, it leaves no uh, remnants, right? Like all those trees that were in place seem to have just disappeared. Either that or changed back to what they were. And I'm seeing nothing. Interesting. Alright, Pierre's is almost opened up. Hey, I found some cookies in the trash. How about that? Nope, don't need them. Not yet. And let's go. Pierre, what's up? I heard you have some wheat seeds for us. Let's 
buy 15 units of wheat seeds. Let's stop by Marnie and get a few animals as well. Hey, what's up, Marnie? Hey, look at this. That is Mayor Lewis's famed purple shorts. I believe that's Marnie's bedroom as well. So that's that's a little interesting, isn't it? All right, dairy cow. Yeah, we'll get a dairy cow. I'm going to name this cow Ruby. Just kind of feels like a cow's name, doesn't it? Do we get one more dairy cow? Let me think about it. So you need large milk, you need cheese, can probably get by with just one cow. But let's get the milk pail. I mean, we could get two cows. Let's get two of them. Let's name him Kemp. Alright, looking good. Let's get the wheat seeds planted, and then let's get to the mine. I want to kind of spend some time on floors 40 through 60 in search of iron, of course. And then probably just stop by floor 100. Alright, looks good. Here's a hot pepper. Very nice. Community chest, you go. Mixed flower seeds, yeah. Definitely want to try those out as well. Alright, the milk pail. Yeah, let's check on our new cow friends here. In fact, let's get a chest. Obviously, you can't milk the cows when they're brand new. But they'll be full grown soon. Hey, friends. Hey, cow friends. Enjoy yourself. Welcome to the farm. All right, let's get the hoe put back. We're looking good with this. All right, to the bus stop. Well, to the mine, I guess. So let's go to floor 40 here in search of iron. Which, here's some right here. Very nice. And some more right here as well. Very good. Finding all kinds of iron. We do definitely need the iron to upgrade our tools as well, right? So kind of doing ourselves a favor here just a little bit in fact what I can do is if we don't find the exit with haste I can always just take the staircase up and then go down to floor 45 right don't want to spend too much time looking for the exit right Some iron over here. Let's make sure we get that. Ten stone there. Very nice. 
Alright, what else do we have? Any iron? Yep. Just a bit more down there. Alright, so let's go up the ladder and back down to floor 45. Get some more iron here. I'm also targeting these big stones because you get a decent amount of stone from them. And, you know, as evidenced by our barn building, right? We need a lot of stone as well. Alright, a whole bunch of nothing. Let's go 50. And we have the ghost. What's up, ghost? It's been a while. I think I'm more equipped to fight you now as I one-shot you. See you later. I remember struggling with the enemies on this floor, you know? come back with a stronger weapon and it's like a piece of cake. There's the exit. Very nice. Always looking for these coal guys as well. Nice little coal pouch here as well. Got some copper. Certainly take some copper. Just because we've upgraded to cold, it doesn't mean that we don't need copper, right? Looks like we got a combat level up there. Very nice. Some more iron. Just lovely. We got these coal guys. This is great. See you later, ghost. Give me that coal. Let's go. Slime, what's up? Yep. You're done. Alright, nothing really happening here, so let's pop back up and back down to... 55 here. How are we looking for iron? 48. It's a respectable amount. Let's see if we can get a few more. Not bad for a day so far where the spirits are displeased, right? So let's go down to floor 60. And while we're here, let's see if we can catch the fish that resides on floor 60. All right, here we go. Got a shot at him right now. Piece of cake. So that's the ghost fish. I was looking for the ice pip. Is that on floor 80 maybe, perhaps? Let's try floor 100. We'll have to do a little more research into the fish you can catch in the mine and where you can get them. I thought the ice pip was floor 60, but I, I could be mistaken, but it's alright. The fish in 
this particular pond here, it's it's rare to catch and it's very hard to reel in. But we could potentially get one. We're gonna try. Look at that. We got a cave jelly. Plus one luck. Okay. Very nice. I love that. Luck is, of course, a, a very good thing. We're getting all kinds of recyclable material as well. go sure why not the newspaper we got trash driftwood glasses the CD almost got the full gambit of stuff having much luck here today. <laughs> I mean, unless you count things that can be refined into quartz as good luck, which definitely do worse. Okay, here we go. Got the treasure chest. Now let's get the fish. Let's go. down here. Let's go. Man, this guy's a challenge. Nice. We hold on and we get him. This is, of course, the lava eel. Also secured a treasure chest with some more iron, which was the reason we came here in the first place. Gives us a nice even 55 Tremendous. Beautiful. Alright, so what's the next step? Well, our inventory's full. Don't necessarily need to remain in the mine. Okay. Let's go to floor zero. Let's go to the bus stop. I've got to start making some cash too because I've got to get my buildings upgraded. Let's see, ghost fish. You could sell the lava eel, but I'm going to hold on to it. I think it's a great... It's a great addition to a fish pond. And let me just make sure... Specialty fish, yeah. We dropped off the ghost fish already. So we can sell the ghost fish. Alright, let's get some of this iron smelting. So 25. Let's throw the lava eel in this chest. It's not a community center fish, but throw it in this chest anyways. Just to hold on to it. Alright, iron. And recycling machine. Let's get... Let's throw the cave jelly in here. 
get the recyclable materials right here. Okay, looking good. It's 11 p.m. So not much time left really for anything. Um, nice, we're going to have a battery pack here. In fact, if we can get one more... Or a couple more lightning rods really cash in on the thunderstorm that is occurring right now. Okay, nothing really to forage up here. Let's drop off the mayonnaise. Let's get our axe. Cut down a few trees. Stockpile that wood. We're going to need every ounce of wood that we can find. Alright, more wood. 12.30... All right, we got some iron here. Very nice. So let's go ahead and craft some of these lightning rods. You bet. Hey, get out of here, bats. Just had enough of you. Free bat wings, I suppose. Let's get a few more. And let's hope that uh, the lightning strikes them overnight. We'll certainly see. Get some smelting done right before bed here. It's a good time to do it. Alright, it's 1.30. Doors are closed. Looking good. I think this is an appropriate spot to turn it in for the night. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure we got all the animals taken care of. We sure did. Welcome Ruby and Kemp, our cows. Got some uh, pretty happy chickens here. And let's turn it in. Go to sleep for the night, you bet. We will. Alright, so level 6 combat. Plus 5 HP, slime egg press, oil of garlic. And we chipped in... Yeah, 1,500 or so. Ghost fish does not sell very good, even at iridium quality. Interesting. All right, so 1,377 is the earnings for the day. Kind of a different episode here, right? We had the green rain event that, you know, we learned a little bit more about it, right? Obviously, you can get a lot of moss when it's raining green, and moss is useful. I know you can make deluxe bait out of it. Um, I'm sure you can probably make other things as well, so... Moss is useful. It's good to have a nice stockpile of moss. So we got that done. And then we managed to catch the lava eel and get some iron and get some lightning rods down on the field as well. To start getting the battery packs. So with that said, folks, I'm going to end the episode here. I want to thank you so much for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. If you are enjoying the Stardew Valley 1.6 playthrough series, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. We'd love to have you. And yeah, we're just going to keep on keeping on here. In the early days of summer, we are fast approaching our first blueberry harvest, right? And things are going to start coming together nicely here. Look at, you know, some building upgrades. We'll look at continuing to get wood and continuing to get our fishing level up and chip in some income while the crops are growing by way of fishing. So once again, folks, thank you so much for your viewership. Really do appreciate it. Stay tuned right here to this channel for plenty more Stardew Valley content. And ultimately, I just really appreciate you stopping by the channel. So thanks a lot. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.